are you? So you've downloaded for more nine, you think it's gonna be smooth, crispy, looking just like it used to look, especially at least when you launch it, you know, you think you're gonna have your aspect ratio selection soon as you get started before you even get to editing, but it's not there. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get that back and also how to make any other presets that you'd like as well. It's gonna look a little something like this. You can choose different colors and all that stuff. You don't have to choose the colors I chose. You can choose any color you'd like. You can put an, a, a preset intro right there that you always put on your videos or anything. The choice is yours, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Very simple, very easy. We're gonna get straight into it. What you're gonna to wanna to do as soon as you get into it, obviously, you can check this stuff out if you want to, but for now, we're just gonna X that off get that out of here. So what I do, I just drop in a quick little picture because I don't really care whatever it is, I can just delete this. Like I said, you can use your intro, anything like that if you'd like or whatever you choose. And what I do next is I go to file and then I go down to project settings and then you see we have a ton of different selections. You even have a four by three. You have all of these different settings you can choose from. And once you choose to make it, say I wanna do portrait, and then I hit okay, it changes it, changes it to portrait. But you're probably wondering, okay, yada, yada, show me how I get it back on my start screen. So what you wanna do then is come over, then you wanna go to save project as. And once you save the project, you wanna name it. I put the little dash right there because it just wasn't working when I was trying to do the other symbols and stuff like that. It wouldn't let me save because it has to be certain stuff. Like certain symbols will work, certain ones won't, but that's besides the point. And you can use this for other things too. You can do it for like, say vlogmas or you do a certain video series that you like. Maybe you do hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, and you have a certain intro for certain videos. You can just do this exact same thing with that. You can just drop that intro in, choose your aspect ratio, choose your frames per second, and then save the project and then name it what you want to name it so you can easily tell which one it is, or you can just tell by the thumbnail picture. It just, the choice is yours. So that's how you get your video presets or profile or project presets, whichever you want to call it. That's how you get them back to make Femora 9 feel a little bit more like home, even though to a lot of people it does not, but to each your own. If this video helped you out, please don't forget to slam the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and also don't forget, Share this video with somebody you know that uses Filmora and this could help them out as well. Cause sharing is caring. Don't be stingy. When you find a video that's helpful to you, share it, share it. But anyway, I'm out. Till next time, peace.